Welcome to Inside Sim Racing and our continuing coverage of Gran Turismo Sport at E3 2017. I had the opportunity to run in one of the handful of media races on Tuesday at E3, and it was a pretty neat experience with a live broadcast at E3 floor, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. There were two races, a qualifying race in the GT3 cars at Brands Hatch, with the order of that race being random, and then a rally race at Sardinia with the grid set by the race at Brands. A few things to note. First, I apologize for electrical cable in the shot. Unfortunately, it was the only angle I could record at. Second, I got about half lap of practice in each car, which wasn't too bad for brands since I know it, and I drove the NSX the day before, but it was pretty tough in the Mustang rally car, at Sardinia, a car and track I've never driven. Third, since I was plopped down in the seat right before the races, I didn't have any chance to adjust the settings of both the wheel or the game, and frankly, messing with that stuff in the middle of an event like this is kind of unprofessional. So for those of you who are interested in that kind of stuff, we'll have both the Thrustmaster TGT and GT Sport in our hands in the studio soon to fiddle with it more and get into that stuff. So without further ado, enjoy the races. So here comes the grid then for the qualifying race at Brands Hatch Indy. Here is how they're going to line up.
safety in second place. And the Dutchman, Jimmy Kim, gets hold on to third position in the Honda NSX. It all went down. Let's go over and uh, have a chat to a few people whilst we're just waiting to get this race underway. What's your name there, sir? John Sable, Inside Sim Racing. John Sable, Inside Sim Racing. John, um, well, tell us about that race from you. It was a good second place from you, uh, indeed. Yeah, it was. I kind of started a little bit back in the pack there, so I had to be careful getting through, no contact, and kept it on track, and just didn't have enough time to get first. Now, given that you're Inside Sim Racing, I gather that you had an opportunity to try the game out before? Yes, not my first experience with GT Sport or racing games in general, so looking to do well. And tell us what you're thinking of the game so far. How do you think it's progressed from when you last tried it? It feels good. I tried an E3 last year and I get the feel that cars have progressed, sounds progressed, looks fantastic, so uh, looking forward to it. Fantastic. Uh, what about the Thrustmaster wheel? This, of course, was announced by Thrustmaster just a couple of days ago. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? It looks pretty good. It feels pretty good as well. Yeah, no, it's a nice looking wheel and uh, Looking forward to reviewing it on Inside Sim Racing Gear soon enough. Nice little plug there as well, I like that. John, thank you very much. <laughs> Get them in whilst you can, haven't you, really, let's be honest. The grid for the race then, decided, of course, by the qualifying race that we had at Brands Hatch just a couple of moments ago. A completely different kettle of fish, this one, on the dirt, of course. So, Florian will start from pole position in the board. Just two more corners. I think Florian's going to be a bit 
I'm, I'm struggling to find words to comprehend what that was. Tell us about it. I mean, Rogan's racing here in the US. <laughs> <laughs> there's Robin's racing and then there's <laughs> somebody into the wall. Yes, yeah, so there's also a pivot maneuver and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I got in there deeper. I didn't mean to go in that deep. And I just slid out and got in an but <laughs> Well, nonetheless, you took the victory and you must be quite happy with that. I am. No, that was, that was a lot of fun. And that's the biggest thing here. You just want to compete and that was a lot of fun. Well, that's it. As long as you have fun, John, thank you very much. Congratulations. A well-deserved victory there. So, that was entertaining. Um, obviously, I didn't want to win the race like that, but unfortunately, like I said, with very little practice, uh, finding break points is pretty tough. And also, this just goes to show why you need damage in Gran Turismo, because if there was more damage, obviously, I probably would have been out of the race with that move instead of playing bumper cars, which is why, again, damage is so important, and it really needs to be here in Gran Turismo Sport. And I'm hoping that it will be at launch, but at this point, I'm not so sure. As for how the cars drove, I actually think that the NSX at Brands Hatch drove fairly well. If I have one critique of the car, it's just that you can't feel the tire flex when you're going around the corners. It feels a bit stiff and a bit like the car is riding on top of the track instead of down in it. But besides that, I think it does do a pretty good job of giving you the feel of driving a GT3-like car. The same can be said for Rally, even though, honestly, I need to drive it more because it's my only Rally experience in Gran Turismo Sports. And as you saw, it was pretty tough getting the cars to stop. And I mean, I'm in a real-world drive Mustang Rally car, apparently. So, yeah, need a little bit more time there. But again, the cars feel a little bit on top of the track and are missing some of that sidewall flex in the tire to really give you that feeling of weight transfer and changing of grip in the corners. So with that, thank you for watching this media race in Gran Turismo Sport from the E3 showroom floor. At the very least, I had a hell of a good time racing. And it's always awesome to race against guys who are close to your ability level and just made for a lot of good fun. And it was cool to see in the crowd reaction and everything that went into the event. So thank you to Sony for putting that on. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out our website, isrtv.com, for latest news, reviews, and our popular forums. Also, check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Click on the link, shop through Amazon. It doesn't cost you a thing. So for John Sable, thank you for watching Inside Sim Racing. Please take care of you and yours.